what's up it's your boy bloomfield productions and in this video i'm going to show you how i'm going to put my bc and reflex spoke skin cover stickers on to my spoke skins now i do it a certain way i don't know if anybody else does it this way in fact i don't know if anybody even knows about these because they're very very slept on if you follow me on instagram you know that i just recently put them on my front rim well my front tire spoke skins and I'm just gonna show you in this video how I put them on and my method for making sure that they stick and don't peel. Also, I did not clean my bike recently, so please don't come after me in the comments section about, oh my God, your bike looks so dirty. I know, all right, I know. It's gonna literally just be a time lapse of me taking the spokeskins off and then after that, we'll go on to the next step. step which is going to be cleaning these spoke skins due to the fact that they're dirty now if you have fresh spoke skins you don't need to do this and you can skip this step but it's honestly up to you if you want to clean them with like alcohol or anything like that before you apply your stickers to them that's completely up to you but i'm only going to clean these because they're very dirty all right so now i got my table here and all that you see here is some regular paper towel and this is literally a solution of water and hand sanitizer you don't need to do this this is just what I did for the simple fact that I don't have alcohol and I use hand sanitizer to clean a lot of stuff little did you guys know anybody that DMs me and says what do you clean your bike with it's most likely hand sanitizer and I got all my spoke skins and as you can see these are pretty pretty dirty looking at that right there so are my hands, but that's not that's not what we're here for. I'm gonna dip this into the solution. You can just use plain water, to be honest with you. Let's take the spoke skins, wrap them around. So now that these are all clean, take a nice look at those. Look nice and shiny now. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to the stickers. So let me grab those. This whole palette needs to be cut. So if you're watching this video, you obviously already have your spokeskin cut to the specific length for your spokes. When B Scene and Reflex makes these, he makes them the same size as the regular spokeskins before you cut them. So a way to easily make these line up, if you see right here, if I do this, if I just line this up, it's hard to see because it's black on black, but this spokeskin is actually shorter because I cut it to fit my, my spokes. So you have to cut this palette. I'm gonna show you how to do that with ease without having to worry about fitting each individual spoke sticker to fit your spoke. So all you're gonna do, all you're gonna do is line your, one of your spokes up, one of your already cut spokes with the palette, like so. And then make just a slight marking now I'm using a razor only because it's sharp. I would recommend you use something like an X-Acto knife. Don't be me, please don't be me. So all you're gonna do after you have your marking is go along that marking and cut. You should get squares. It doesn't matter if you cut a little bigger, it's preferred that you go a little bigger because smaller would mean that you'd have to go back and trim, and you basically wanna eliminate having to do that. So just cut along until you get these squares. There we go. Now, this whole piece comes off like butter. Don't worry about it if you cut too short for these. You really don't want them to be exact size. So now we're just gonna wrap each spokeskin 
and these reflective stickers. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this to ensure that they stick and that they stay even when you go to put them onto your bike. All right, so when I apply mine, I look for the slit where you put your spokeskin onto the rim and I place it just a little bit away from that, just like this. And I'll show what I mean when I'm done with this. And you just simply push it all the way down. Don't wrap it around just yet. Uh, zoom in. I'm not sure if you can see that too well, but the slit that's right there where you apply the spoke skin to the actual spoke on your on your rim. I have I have the sticker placed just off center of that. So now simply wrap this around. There you go. And just go down the sticker. You want to wrap these as slow and as neatly as possible so that your sticker doesn't bubble or anything like that when you're going to when you're putting it on completely. If you want, you can stop there. But the spokeskin sticker is applied. If your sticker looks like this after you just applied it or it keeps coming out like this, then this is some this is what I do. And it doesn't matter if my stickers flail out like this or not. I do this for all of my spokeskins to ensure that they stay on. You don't need a jet lighter. This is just what I have. This is my lighter that I use for soldering stuff because you know I'm broke and I don't have a soldering iron. I simply do this and then I press it forward and it applies super, super smoothly. We're gonna go ahead and just apply the rest of these and then we're gonna put them back on the rim. extremely tired and the other fact that it is uh it is 4 17 i think it's uh 4 27 10 minutes off that's that's how you know i'm tired it's 4 27 in the morning if you do everything right you should have two extra spoke skins left over they're pretty dope so we're gonna put these onto the. We're gonna put these onto the bike. I'm literally just winging everything. I'm so tired right now. It's unbelievable. We're gonna finish this up by simply reapplying the reapplying. You see what I mean? We're gonna finish this up by reapplying the spoke skins with the covers. Now we're gonna put them back onto the rim or the spokes. You know what I meant? Uh, and yeah. Time lapse. All right, YouTube. It is currently 5:12 in the morning. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to. Uh, oh, I'm walking all off the camera like I'm done with the video and everything. All right, so. This is the reflective spoke covers. This is what they look like. The chain links, the reflective chain links that you see right there, those are from Magic Designs. And yeah, this is what my bike looks like now. It's come a very long way from, I think it was 2016 when I, uh, I got this and I actually spray painted it. And if you look at the comments on that video, people are hating me <laughs> and this was actually my vision so I ended up getting the bike power coated and this is uh this is what it looks like now and happy new year's to everybody and even though it's like January 3rd now but 
yeah, see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe if this helped you. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs>